Hello, my beautiful lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another retro recipe test. Today's recipe is very, very simple. All I'm going to do is have a delicious ripe pear with Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip, as it states on the jar here, is a one-of-a-kind taste of creamy mayo and tangy dressing. A lot of people like to have Miracle Whip on their sandwiches instead of mayo. I haven't had Miracle Whip in a very long time, and rather than being tangy, I remember it being sweeter than mayo. At any rate, it was established in 1933. On the back here, it has a recipe for Grandma's Reinvented Potato Salad. And the recipe I'm going to be making today is very, very simple. I'm just going to take this ripe pear, I'm going to peel it, and then I'm going to hollow it out and then fill the middle of it with Miracle Whip. So many of you sent this to me suggesting that I should make it, and from my understanding, it came from a 1955 Women's Day advertisement. The ad also describes Miracle Whip as a combination of mayonnaise and old-fashioned boiled dressing. So I found another recipe that was very similar by their competitor Best Foods and it uses pears as well and fills the cavity with mayo and puts sliced grapes on top. So I think the same combination of kind of savory and sweet. I'm thinking this is more like an appetizer, kind of a salad dish, but both of these seem to be pretty sweet because pears are sweet. In the Best Foods recipe, they suggested using whole canned pears. In the Miracle Whip recipe, it wasn't clear if the pears were supposed to be fresh or canned. I definitely prefer fresh, so that's what I'm going to use. Although in the 1950s, I know canning was all the rage, so perhaps that's what you're originally supposed to use. But today, I'm going to use fresh. All right, let's go ahead and put this together. Here's my very ripe pear, nice and yellow in color. And this is how I like to peel it. I just like to use a vegetable peeler and the peel comes off really, really simply. Nothing like a ripe pear. Pears make the best salads. So what I do is I buy my pears really green in the store, and then I just let them sit on my countertop for a few days until they turn nice and yellow. I don't usually find them this ripe in the store, and also they bruise really easily when they're ripe. So I find it's better just to get them green and then let them ripen at home. So usually all of our food scraps go into our compost pile, but I'm super, super excited because very soon in April, we will be getting chicks, chickens, chickens. I'm so excited. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know about this because I've been talking about it in my stories, but we are getting chickens. I just ordered them. They're coming April 16th, the week of April 16th, just one day old baby chicks. So, so excited. We inherited our neighbor's chicken coop. So excited and so grateful. I've been wanting to keep chickens forever. Back when I was living in Montana, I wanted to keep chickens. So we're gonna have a little flock of six chickens. We're gonna have the chicks inside the house for the first probably six to eight weeks until they grow their feathers and then we'll take them outside. And the end game here is to actually get some eggs. So it takes several weeks depending on the breed. Yeah, so I'm gonna be creating videos and I'll bring you along for the entire process and I'll post them on my other channel. And you can also follow my Instagram and my Insta stories specifically to get little day-to-day -day updates. All right. Back to the pear. So now that I've peeled it, I'm gonna slice it in half. There's the pear, beautiful. And now I'm gonna use a paring knife and get this little vein out here and hollow out the middle. Because this ripe is so, because it's ripe. Because this pear is so beautifully ripe, it's very easy to cut. So we'll take that out and then scoop that part as well. Be careful, don't tear it like I did. Maybe my other one will be more perfect. All right, so let's be a little bit more gentle around this part here. There. All right, so scoop out the stem on the top. I don't want to eat the stem. So soon I can give this to my chickens because chickens love food scraps. I'm gonna put a little bit of kale here. Something about kale and parsley. Just so retro, right? Put that right there. 
and place the other half here. Now I'm going to open my bottle of Miracle Whip. Um, okay, I love opening new bottles of condiments. Oh yeah, that's satisfying and taking the first scoop. Yes. So it smells a lot like mayonnaise. <laughs> it smells vinegared and a little eggy. And now I'm going to fill this cavity with a dollop of Miracle Whip. Oh yeah. We want to be generous here with our mayo. I've done many, many retro recipes and many of them, the majority of them contain mayo because I am trying to understand why it was so popular and why it was used so much. Yeah, it seems in contemporary recipes, you just don't see it as much. Maybe perhaps it was a newer technology, the idea of having, you know, shelf stable mayo. Maybe it was kind of like Jello, where it was this kind of almost like technology, like this shelf stable mayo was a new thing and you must use it in recipes, but it doesn't taste bad to me. I don't have any kind of fear of mayo. It's just used a lot. And so I'm still trying to figure that out. At any rate, there are my pears. The dish is done. Here it is. Miracle Whip and pears. <laughs> Look how the mayo jiggles. All right, let's do this all proper like. I've got a fork and a knife. Oh boy. I know the pear is gonna be delicious. I just don't know about the pear and the Miracle Whip together. The pear is perfect, just perfect. Uh, Miracle Whip, okay. Bit of fresh pear. Schmear of Miracle Whip. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Well, I didn't really like that bite. <laughs> it was very Miracle Whippy, which tastes like it says, a little tangier version of mayo. It's sweet though, too. So it tastes kind of eggy, vinegary, and sweet. So it does kind of taste like dressing, but very mayonnaise-like. So that was very Miracle Whip infused. Let's try a bite that has less on it. Maybe it'll taste better. Maybe I'll taste the pear more. All right, let's try that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now the pear is delicious. Softly textured, a little bit mealy, but tender, cool, sweet, full of pear flavor. Delicious. That is a perfect pear. Mm, with Miracle Whip. Mm. With a little bit of Miracle Whip, it's all right, because it's a little bit salty and a little bit oily, but it kind of works. It works, it feels more like a salad dressing, but with a big dollop on it, I don't really care for it because the Miracle Whip flavor is just too strong. It just overpowers the delicious pear. The pear is just so stinking good, uh, but the Miracle Whip on its own is not. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of odd how you do really get used to it. After a few bites now, I, I kind of don't mind it as much. I just have this association with mayo or Miracle Whip or this kind of dressing with potatoes or pasta, just not with my pears. And the pear is delicious. And I would just rather eat the pear by itself, like this. Mmm. Rather than adulterate with Miracle Whip but maybe Miracle Whip or store-bought mayonnaise was seen as kind of a status symbol. So if you could afford to buy something like this and put it on your pears, it meant something in terms of your status? I don't know, I'm just surmising, I'm just talking out of nowhere. But if any of you know why store-bought mayonnaise was so popular during that time, do let me know. So there you have it, Miracle Whip and pears. Do I recommend it? No, but do I recommend fresh Ripe pears, yes, they're delicious. Miracle Whip, you can just save for your sandwiches. I think I prefer mayo, to be honest. This is a little bit too tangy for me. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know if there are any other retro recipes that you'd like me to try. If you have a retro recipe itch, you can scratch it by going to the playlist and checking out 
many recipes that I've tested, so many great ones. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you guys like that one. I hope you guys learned something. Be sure to follow me on social media so you can follow up on my bees and my chicken stories and just what videos are coming up next. Share this video with your friends and yeah, I shall see you in my next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Miracle whip removal. Ah, 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 ah.